Hey guys, CB Dragon here, and I have a new Lego Dino set for you. Unfortunately, I have lost the box, so I can't show you any of those cool features. But in this, we will show you all the features that will that were on the box. So first, let's go to the close-ups of the characters. So, yeah, this is going to be an exciting, this thing comes with four minifigures, which is exciting, and we're now going to go into the close-ups. Okay, first up we have here is um, the driver. Comes with a cool tranquilizing gun, and you can take off this gun and replace that with one of these pieces. And then it's like a sniping rifle, but I really like it with the tranquilizer on there because then it looks really cool. Hold on. And I just really like the tranquilizer gun. So. It's pretty cool. I apologize for the noise in the background. It's my sister watching TV. And so, yeah. He's got some good printing right there on the front. Got the little dino emblem on him. And then when we flip him around, we got a bigger dino emblem. And, um, he also has a double-sided face, which is really cool. So, yeah. Next, we have, um, now I looked these characters' names up online. Her name is Sue Montana, which is a funny name. She also comes with a tranquilizer gun. Um, she does have a double-sided face. The more worried and concerned face. I think we're going to keep it on that one because that's a funny face. And then so yeah she's got some nice front parenting. She's got a dog tag. And when we flip her over not very impressive back printing but I do like the belt. The belt looks cool. So yeah, next up we have the pilot, who, I lost his glasses, so I'm gonna, hold on, the helicopter just broke, so, just give me a minute. Here we got the pilot. I'm showing you all of them with tranquilizer guns because I think they all look cool with the tranquilizer guns. And he looks cool. I can't complain with him. You get him in a lot of sets though. His goggles go up and down. He's got a cool leather jacket. And the dino emblem right here on him. When you flip him over, you get like a little harness. God, these glasses come off so easily. That's something I should mention. And then if you have a dark carpet, you can lose them easily. You get like a little harness. So. Which is pretty nice. And then the last character we have is like Stego Jenkins or something, I think. He's actually like the main dino character we hero minifig we get. And he's got some nice printing. I, I must say I can't complain. 
and he's got a little ascot with a walkie-talkie and a pocket on the front. Some nice leg printing, too. Then on the back, no leg printing on the back, like most of them. And then he's got that little belt and the harness right there. So yeah, let's get to the close-ups of the Here's set. This is the overall look of the set. Sorry, I apologize. That helicopter and that truck right there are not part of the... See that helicopter right there? That is not part of the set. That is a separate set. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that out of the way of the review area. So let's go to the close-ups of the set. First of all, you get this cool helicopter with which actually my sister built and um this is actually really cool the blade spins and it's just really cool i really like this helicopter it's got a little searchlight and then we have the m missiles they don't go off in case you guys were wondering they are not flick missiles and then, we got this cool truck, which is really nice. The driver drives around in it. It's like a little Jeep. I'm sorry, I replaced his head. I like replacing their heads. So, because you get him in so many different sets, sometimes I replace their heads so they look like different characters. Anyway. Here, we have the jeep and there's a little cargo hole on the back but you can take that off and you can put minifigs on the little stumps that come right around which is really cool then now let's go to the close-ups Here we have a Flick My Style cannon, which is really nice. It's got the searchlight. That is a sticker, however, which is very hard to put on. It is a sticker. So is a lot of stuff, but it does have Flick Missiles, which is cool. I really like the Flick My Styles, but I'm more of a fan of the Kennens, where you just pull back and they fire. And so, yeah, this is a pretty good Kennen. Over here, we got the movable crane. Now, this carries a net, which I'll get for you. And that can hold one of the dinosaurs. Now, if I'm saying this correctly, please tell me. It can hold the coelophysis. Is it coelophysis or coelophysis? I have no idea. So please tell me in the comments. Because I want to get it right in my videos. So, yeah. That's a pretty cool feature. And then, and then, up here, we got a little control room, which is very nice. I really like the control room because this lid pops off. You can fit a minifig inside this chair. And it's also got the little antennae. You can also... Roll this cage up using that thing up there. Watch. That's something I don't like is that this thing right here, this comes off so easily. Anyway, so continuing, 
with our view. Here's the back. Nice. And then this is a really cool feature. I really like this. So you ever wonder how they refill their station? Is they got this little refill station right here at the base. And it refills the darts. So I really like that. That's really cool. I just really like that. Then over here, we got the gates. And then that completes our review. I saved the best for last the dinosaurs. First, we got the Coelophysis, which you can move kind of, but doesn't stay there. It's made of that rubber. Only this part right up here is plastic. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, he's got some nice texturing. And as I said, he can fit in the net, which is really nice. I really like that feature. Next up, we have the Utah Raptor. Now, most people say Velociraptor. This is not a Velociraptor. Velociraptor was three feet tall. And if I compare this to the minifig, that is definitely not a Velociraptor. So I call it a Utah Raptor, which is another kind of raptor. You can look it up. And he's pretty nice. All the parts move. The, the neck, the arms, the legs. Everything but the tail, which is really nice. I really like that. And as you can see, he has those stubs on the back, so a minifigure can ride on him. And if you have one of these medium chains, it's even cooler because then he can have like rings. So, yeah. The raptor's really nice. And compared to the other raptor, the, the only thing I don't like about these raptors is that, watch this, after prolonged use, their legs can get floppy and really bad, but I, I think I found a way to fix that. So, yeah. It just gets sloppy after prolonged use. So, yeah. And then, we got the big guy. The huge, massive, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I'm going to do a size comparison here from the old T-Rex. Not the old, old T-Rex, not the first wave of Lego Dino that we ever got, like, back in the 1900s. I'm talking about the 2005 version. And if you look at this thing, it's much bigger. Much bigger. Huge. This thing is small but it, it does have more detail so I, I do like this one better and you can fit a mini figure in its mouth you just have to do that which is really cool I really like that oops yeah. and so yeah and also these stubs on the back, you can fit two mini figures on. Two mini figures, which is also pretty nice. So yeah, 
That's it. Check out my other videos. My newer videos, like Lego Dinosaur Attacks 6 and 7, will be coming out soon. Which, Dinosaur Attack 6 is already out, and the base will be used in it. And all this cool stuff. So, check it out. Check it out, guys. It's so awesome. Yeah. So, see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed the review. Bye.